Unraveling English. Unmasking the magic of phrasal prepositions. Hello everyone. Today we're going to tackle an exciting topic in English grammar, phrasal prepositions. In this video, we'll dive into the types of phrasal prepositions, complete with plenty of examples and their usage. So, are you ready to enhance your English skills? Let's get started. Before we look at examples, let's understand what we mean by phrasal prepositions. They are groups of words that function as a preposition, establishing a connection between the elements of a sentence. This connection can indicate time, place, cause, or manner. Phrasal prepositions can vary in length and complexity. Some common examples include, in spite of, because of, in addition to, and many more. Each type has a specific use and meaning, and today, we'll focus on three types, contrasting, cause, and addition. Contrasting phrasal prepositions show a contrast or difference between two things. A perfect example is, in spite of, or, despite. Example, in spite of the rain, they decided to go to the park. Here, in spite of the rain, shows a contrast between the rain, which normally discourages park visits, and their decision to go. These types of prepositions show a cause and effect relationship. A commonly used cause phrasal preposition is, because of. Example, she was late because of the traffic. In this case, because of the traffic, indicates the cause of her lateness. Addition phrasal prepositions are used to add information to a sentence. A classic example is, in addition to. Example, in addition to being a teacher, he is also a published author. The phrase, in addition to being a teacher, is adding information about him being an author. Phrasal prepositions might seem challenging at first, but with practice, you'll master them in no time. Remember, these are powerful tools to make your English more fluent and natural. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to review the examples we discussed today. They're your key to understanding and using phrasal prepositions effectively. Happy learning!